Well, fam, we got another sport over there. Stream ready to leave today is Sunday. My city, Chicago, November 27, 2022. Got this little raggedy ass trap. It was 63 in September. I have Chicago, no shit. So 637. All this shit just basically set up as a trap. Motherfuckers just want to play characters, and I believe they just using real niggas so they can usher in the Hispanics or whatever. Because, you know, the people at the top that got the businesses and stuff, you know, they want us to be motherfucking goddamn slaves. That's why they say more money, more problems, and then it's going to get down to the point probably where they're going to have us, you know, working for goddamn food, you know. And that's why I did three weeks with no food and water at the Cook County Jail because I knew it was going to come down to that. We were talking uh, John Henry Clark, our ancestors, before he died and they railroaded him, made him blind and stuff. Killed him, said that we was going back into slavery. Now, I ain't never been no goddamn slave. I always worked for myself. And because, you know, they was hating on me doing that, you know what I'm saying? They was just trying to find some kind of way and shit to uh, fuck a nigga around. And the ones who's in the line, like, they give you about 10 years, they get somebody else and shit, and then they keep working you to death and stuff until you quit or they get you cancer because they hate on you or whatever and stuff. Because it's not that hard to fucking live, nigga. It's not that hard to make a live. It's not that hard to, you know, do the cycle of life to get a routine and, you know, get it going for you and shit. These motherfuckers just, they just hating and shit, you know. That's why I say, you know, aim straight for my head, nigga. I ain't going to kill myself, but I'm working out every day because I know my last fight, goddammit, going to they gonna have to kill me or I'm gonna have to kill them or both and shit. Real fucking talk. I'm telling you the honest guy's true. When you're a real man back in my you know I don't talk like this. I usually be, you know, a little cheerful or whatever and stuff, you know, but they sing you out and shit because, you know, that's why the guy asked me in AA. I was wondering why he asked me that. He was like, you know, uh, when you gonna start talking to yourself? I said, damn, I ain't never did no shit like that. You understand what I'm saying? These bitches just wanna know what's on. My mind and shit, you know, these motherfuckers is obsessed and shit, real fucking so. The motherfuckers be looking at you and shit and don't be knowing nothing. And then they get you in a compromising position where, you know, the little stuff that they do know about you, they want you to continue that old routine and shit. Like, if you was a bad person at one time and stuff, you know, or you was surviving, trying to live or whatever and stuff, or you, you know, was in a compromised position and, you know, they want you... Just on all fours with your ass up and shit and your, spread, your uh, cheek spread, pretty much. And shit is fucked up. You understand what I'm saying? See, Lil' Kim with that hardcore and pushing that sex shit. And then Nicki Minaj and now motherfucking uh, Megan Thee Stallion. You know, y'all keep pushing that fucking shit and then y'all be hollering rape and shit. You understand what I'm saying? You can't. Goddamn, like, you know. I don't care how smart you is. I was at the Bud Billiken parade and them little girls... Barely had any clothes on, but and then I mentioned it. They was like, you know, they A students. I said, you know, I can't tell by the way they dress. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta be all provocative in order to goddamn get somebody's attention. You supposed to leave something to the imagination, and because they were so intrigued about me and obsessed about me, you understand what I'm saying? Because you know, I like being fully dressed, you know, overdressed because of you know the violations they have done to me or whatever and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? And they just couldn't wait to get me. A, Prison and you know, psych wars. One guy, goddamn it, at the psych ward that worked there and shit, light skinned motherfucking pervert motherfucker, gonna come to my door. Cause I was trying to f figure out they was watching me and shit like they is here, you know, like right now, you understand what I'm saying? I was trying to see. So I was in the shower at the psych ward in the Cook County Jail and shit in 2016 when they railroaded me for staying sober and doing the right thing at the AA Must See Me. And some told me to rip up my panties and the, um, in the um, shower, and I ripped them up and threw them in the garbage. And do you know, about a couple of hours later, this pervert ass motherfucker that worked there allegedly and shit, these motherfuckers ain't nothing but characters. These, this shit is all, nigga, this is like a concentration. Whoever came up with this nigga, they, they goddamn got over and shit for real. But yeah, I ripped up, I, I, he came by my dope, talking about I saw you when you, you know, ripped up your pants. I cussed that motherfucker out like that. He was raping me and shit. Real fucking talk. Everybody that came on the fucking goddamn unit, I was telling on his ass and shit. For real, real fucking so. I mean, ain't nothing but a bunch of perverts and shit. Creeping around all sinister and shit. It's all quiet and demonic in this motherfucker and shit. Real fucking so. Gotta keep a knife, a gun, or something, nigga. For real, I'm telling you. Don't let them get you. This is a, this a, this is like an amber alert, nigga. You know, this is like a, a real motherfucking talk. I talk like this, nigga, I'm telling you for real.
be on point. Nothing happened in this world by mistake. Nothing. Ain't no children here. Ain't nothing. Ain't no laughter. It used to be laughter and everything. These motherfuckers had got it where they, where they, where they wanted. I went to church. You understand what I'm saying? So-called pastor took a day off. How you gonna take a day off and shit? Serving God and shit. Old scary ass nigga and shit. Real fucking tough. And, he, and one guy that was uh, doing a church or whatever and stuff. He'd been with them since they were six years old. He got baptized. He said, when he was getting baptized, they um, dunked him in without saying, hold your breath. They dunked him in first and then say, hold your breath. He could have drowned and shit, real fucking. These motherfuckers is crazy. They trying to kill us, for real. And we ain't going along with they little perverted ass shit. More money, more problems, real fucking talk. This damn washing and dried shit cheap, right? But the goddamn dryer, one of them didn't even dry and shit. It's always something in this little raggedy bitch, and that's why I'm gonna be wearing the same shit like a goddamn soldier every fucking day, like a prison. That's, I'm telling you, don't be buying in all that shit. This, them days is over. If they ain't paying, look, we ain't doing shit. I ain't doing shit, nigga. Fuck you. Whoever the fuck you is behind this, I'm originating that rap music bitch. Ain't no way in hell I put being this dirty ass motherfucker. This is disgusting, nigga. Y'all seen my first ever YouTube video, Mary Mac vs. The Fat Black Oba Winfrey? And they listen to everything, and then they use it in a fucking dialogue at church and shit. I did something about Mariah Carey, and then they called it the E-Church e and shit. Now, you know I ain't going back. They said something about Mariah, you know, uh, in Genesis. You know, Mariah's name is in Genesis uh, chapter 22. You understand what I'm saying? This shit is crazy, nigga. Is, these motherfuckers is out of their mind and shit. Y'all ain't straight for their head, nigga, because when they come for you, they're going to be coming for real like they came for Emmett Till, yeah, and James Bird and all the rest of them and shit. You just can't go willy-nilly and shit. You got to pop their ass and shit. I'm telling y'all it's God's truth. You see my eyes. I don't drink, drill, smoke, or fornicate, so you know I ain't going to sit there and lie to you and shit. You got to be on point nowadays, nigga. Real fucking talk. I thought I'd start to get y'all updated about what's going on and shit, but yeah, even the pastor didn't show up because ain't shit, ain't shit happening. Ain't shit happening. They got big ass churches. There ain't nobody filling them motherfuckers up and shit. And the motherfuckers that stole the money, they sticking together and shit. You understand what I'm saying? Real fucking talk. This shit is crazy, nigga. Y'all better stick together. But if I die, we all die. I'm telling you, the honest guy is true. So, you know, nigga, this how y'all left me and shit. You see? It's not me. I can see if I was a crackhead or something. You understand what I'm saying? I had 25 years of sobriety Christmas, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to snap on a motherfucker if I don't get what I want. God damn it, Christmas and shit. Real fuck. That's why Ice Cube was snapping. For real, because he peeped game and shit. Real fucking tough. And before I got railroaded and shit, I had picked up a bat. I was working at the flea market. It was on my birthday. And six days later, I got railroaded. I was about ready to snap like ice cube with the bat and shit. And the Mexican next to me while I was selling at the flea market was like, hey. And I caught myself. Nigga, I should have beat his fucking ass with that motherfucker and shit. Real fucking so. At least I would have went to fucking prison for something. Look, this guy named John was working at food stuff with me. And I was making $7 an hour, nigga. They would work me like a Hebrew slave. I called him hernia and everything. As soon as he told them motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying, that he bought a house, they fired his ass. They, they want us working and shit for free, nigga. Hard and shit, you know what I'm saying? They feel like, oh, they work hard, you know, we ain't got to pay them much and shit. They'll do anything. No, bitch, I'm burnt the fuck out, nigga. Real fucking tough. The only work I'm going to do is working out to beat a bitch ass and shit before I die. And that's the honest God truth. With that, this is your Gavin News Report. Mary Dash 20 Mary Lee. Pass this video on like your life depends on it because it's the truth. You niggas asleep. You niggas are over here new. Y'all just don't know what time it is. They going to work y'all niggas to death for a little bit of nothing before it's over with. Old motherfuckers, get your guns and shit. That's the truth. Peace.